Hello everybody, uh, my name is Sopal, welcome back to Photoshop Magic and this is part 2 of the hologram effect of Jackie Chan okay so as you can see right here uh, I was able to combine three images one is just uh, this room right here you know just darkened room we have a light source and we also have Jackie Chan himself and I was able to combine all three of them to put this light source, flatten it out, put it on the table and project a hologram of Jackie Chan okay so you can see it looks pretty amazing. It's even better when you actually do it yourself, you know, in Photoshop and it looks, you know, even more amazing. If you haven't seen part one yet, part one will be in the description below. All you have to do is just click on that link. It's the very first link that you see. And uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome to Photoshop Magic. This channel focuses on the magic and creative power of Photoshop. It's designed for anybody who has no prior knowledge at all for the basic and intermediate level. Okay, so if you want to see more videos, feel free to subscribe, like, and turn on that notification bell. And once you've seen, you know, my video towards the end, you know, uh, before it reaches the end, at the very least, if you find any value at all in the video, uh, pause the video and click on the like button. It takes a few seconds and it really does help the channel a lot. And it really keeps, you know, uh, YouTuber motivated, you know, not, not just myself, you know, any YouTuber. We want our work to be to be uh, known out there and for, for it to be shared among, you know, the public out there. So without further ado, we're just going to, you know continue with part two okay so we left off with part one of you know Jackie Chan's being very large right here so obviously we want to make him a little bit smaller right so to be able to do that we are going to hold the control button we're going to tap T to re resize him so I'm going to left click hold and drag to bring him down right here until I get to one of these corners so we can actually resize him so we're going to left click hold and drag down here and then we're going to left click hold and drag to drag the image back up and then we'll see the double arrows again. We're going to left click hold and drag to size it down. And then we're going to come to one of these uh, arrow right here. And we're going to drag them back up. And then double arrows. We're going to resize them back smaller. And we want them to be as large as possible. Okay. Because again, this is going to be like a hologram. And having that microphone is like even more amazing. Okay. So we're going to make it even smaller. You want to keep them proportional. And you want to make them a little bit smaller than than that light source right there so just like so I think I think this is perfect there you go that's perfect so um, the, you know that light source can be the projector of Jackie Chan for that hologram effect um, so we're gonna we're gonna click on that check mark right there and there you have it like that we're done so we have a light source we have a Jackie Chan and he looks like you know it's a hologram no I'm just kidding okay we're gonna continue on Okay, so yeah, so now that we are happy of the location of where it's at, we're going to need to make two copies of it, okay? So we are going to uh, make sure that this one's highlighted. We're going to left click, hold, and drag him to this plus sign with a square around it. And we're going to do it one more time from the, the one that got copied. So we're going to drag it one more time. So we've got three in total, okay? So we're going to name them just to avoid confusion. And it's going to also help us, you know, um, as we go along with the project too, it makes it a lot easier, okay? So the top layer. We want to name it glow so we know what it's for okay so we're going to name it glow and all you have to do to save that that text you just uh made you can just click on the next one or you can just click on it okay there's two separate ways so we're going to double click on the second one and we are going to name it blur edges okay blur edges and the last one we're going to name it motion blur and then we're going to click on it just to save it there you have it okay so the very first one that we want to work on is we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna turn all the eyeballs off of the glow and the and blur edges, okay? So glow, we're gonna turn the eyeball off right there and blur edges, okay? As you can see, it didn't make any changes, but basically it's just high seats too. So we're we're, we're make changes to the the blur um, motion blur right now, okay? And before you do anything else, you gotta make sure that motion blur is highlighted, okay? Highlighting mean that you click on it once and you see, you know, that is the one highlighted. And now what you want to do is you want to change the drop down menu of the, the normal right here. So you want to change that to linear light. Okay, so we're going to click on it. And there's obviously there's many different options in here that you can choose from. But linear light is the effect that we want. When combined with these two, it's going to make, you know, Jackie Chan look like a hologram okay so that's the whole idea of this okay and after that is done make sure you don't just click away or anything uh, so to continue off the next one what you want to do is you want to go to filter 
you want to go to blur and you want to go to motion blur okay so it fits the name and in motion blur you want it to be around 40 or so I know that it doesn't look as nice as it's supposed to but it doesn't it doesn't uh, for this effect to work it, it has to be some kind of motion blur so when combined with these two it looks like it's you know uh, a hologram effect so and you want it to be around 40 obviously you can make you know any number that you want and it it all depends on the size of the image and this particular image will keep it around for you okay so if you find out towards the end of the video that you know it doesn't look the way you should you know just redo this this uh, step and just make some changes and you know that's the thing with Photoshop is you have to you have to experiment okay so we're gonna keep it at 40 we're gonna click on okay now we're gonna have to go and hide the motion blur and blur by turning off the eye so we're gonna turn it off now And we're going to turn the eye of the uh, Blur Edges tool. So layer right here, Blur Edges. Okay, perfect. Now what we want to do is we want to change it from normal. So you have to make sure that that Blur Edges is highlighted. Okay, so not just turn on the eye and you have to make sure it's highlighted. Okay, so we're going to click on that. We're going to change from normal. And we have many different options here again. We want to click on luminosity. Okay, so it kind of changes the color a little bit to where it illuminates, you know, the image. Now, before we do anything else, we want to make changes to Jackie Chan selection, okay? And to be able to do that, we have to make sure to to hold the uh, control button on the keyboard, bottom left of the keyboard, and we're going to click on the middle center right there. And what that does is it's going to make a selection of him. Now we're going to go to select, modify, and, con and contract. So select, modify, and contract. And we're going to contract it by 10%. Okay, 10 pixels. We're going to click on OK. So by the con uh, contract, you will see that it contracted about like, you know, 10 pixels or so from, and the marching ant is coming out a little bit towards the center. Okay, it's leaving some of the spaces behind. So right after that, you also want to go to feather. So you want to go to select, and you want to go to, uh, you want to go select, modified, and you want to go to feather, and it's gonna be around the same thing. We're gonna put a ten also, ten pixels with feather radius. So we're gonna click on OK. Now we need to invert the selection by using the keyboard shortcut, which is the Control Shift I. Okay, so we're gonna hold the Control the Shift, and then we're gonna tap I. And what that does, if done right, if you haven't clicked on anything else and you, and you did exactly right, you will see this marching ant uh, in the background, meaning that it got invert, inverted to whatever selection you selected before. It selected everything else besides that one. Now I have two screens right here. As you can see that it, it got a little bit, uh, well, I mean, you don't see the marching ants for myself anymore, but I'm just going to right click to come back in here so you can actually see it again. Um, so yeah, so make sure you don't click away anything because I have two screens and if I go between the two screens You can't really see the, the other screen. It does kind of deselect this one right here, which we don't want So I'm gonna try a little bit be careful and you know, just You know, uh, try to listen along as best you can. Okay, so it seems like You know nine minutes has passed already. So <laughs> we're gonna have to save our work. We're gonna have to do a part three on this one unfortunately um, so yeah, so Let's do a save and we'll continue so part three will be in the description below you all you have to do is just click on that that you know third link right there i will have everything there and also in the upper right hand corner and um yeah so we're going to save our work real quick we're going to go to file we're going to go to save as you're going to jackie chan hologram part two okay so we're going to save it just like so Okay, so before, you know, I'll let you go, uh, if you haven't clicked on the like button, uh, please go ahead and do that real quick. You can pause the video. Pausing is the best way, so, because once it has reached the end, and uh, you might not get a chance to click on the like button, okay? So pause the video, go ahead and, and smash that like button real quick. It really does help the channel a lot in terms of, 
for the YouTube algorithm to be able to show this to more people. The more likes it gets, the more the YouTube algorithm will share this to more people. And, you know, the more people can learn from this video. Uh, if you do find value in it, uh, I really do try my best. And obviously, there's a lot more to learn. And, um, yeah, it would be nice to get that support. And, you know, feel free to share the video with your friends and family. And as always, I hope you have an amazing day. Okay, bye-bye.